Hey folks, it's John P. with GeekBeat, and I'm here with Michael, who is the CEO of Leap Motion, and you guys are building a new, very innovative, kind of a, I don't know, 3D controller technology called sure. the Leap? That's correct. We're uh, making a device called the Leap that is a tiny device about the size of an iPod, and it sits on a user's desk and turns the area around their desk into a 3D interaction space where they can use uh, hands and fingers to interact with a computer. And the goal is to make controlling a computer as intuitive as interacting with the real world. So, um, you know, I'm accustomed to using my mouse and clicking and dragging and having to pick it up and move it around on, you know, to get it to keep going. Um, here, I'm just going to wave my fingertips around, right? There's a Microsoft uh, thing kind of like that, right? Is it competitive with the Kinect, if you will? Or? Sure. So the Kinect was a great start, and it uh, did a lot to educate people about this idea and excite people. But we have a different vision, and, and that is uh, less of a focus on the living room and gaming and more of a focus on uh, people that are in front of computers that need lots of accuracy. So our device is 100 to 200 times more accurate than the Kinect, and wow. that level of accuracy sounds like it's not necessary, but it's critical both for very basic things like pinch to zoom, which we're the only company that can do, to more advanced things as you would expect, like engineers that want to mold virtual pieces of clay or surgeons in the operating room that want to go through some 3D medical data. What's that movie that had Tom Cruise in it where he was waving things around? Do you remember that movie? Yeah, it's Minority uh, Report. Minority yeah. Report. Kind of reminds me of Minority yeah, Report. it's a lot like Minority Report, but we wanted to take all of that and consolidate it down to this tiny device that anyone could use. And, you know, because this is the most powerful device available in the world at any price point, a lot of people told us, well, you should sell it for thousands of dollars. Right. But, uh, you know, we, we believe that computing can do a lot of good for the world, and we want to really transform the way that everyone interacts with computers, both those professionals and everyday consumers. And in order to do that, we wanted to make it small and light and powerful. We also wanted to make it inexpensive, and the device is $69.99. So it's, uh, yeah, and it's all made possible by the fact that uh, the approach we use is just fundamentally different than any approach that's ever been used before. Uh, it's just a series of breakthroughs that my co-founder David's made over the past years. Well, I think, is that David over there playing with it? Can maybe we take a look? Let's, let's see how it works here. Hey, David, it looks like you've got a fun little toy there. What are you doing? Uh, we're going through three-dimensional uh, data sets uh, in a natural, intuitive uh, uh, way with uh, the new Leap motion sensing device. That looks just, uh, it actually kind of looks like a video game. It looks like, uh, you know, maybe some kind of screensaver that would be playing with music in the background. What other kinds of things might we do? Uh, everything from, uh, you know, gaming to, to uh, sort of mapping applications and all sorts of stuff. You know, and everything from like a smartphone game where you're chopping fruit in the air uh, without moving your fingertip, you know, more than an inch or two to, uh, you know, to, to sort of all sorts of three-dimensional mapping oh, wow. applications where you're moving in and out and up and down and all sorts of stuff like that. I think you were telling me earlier that it's not just going to be for the kind of apps that maybe artists and engineers would use, but we could even, you know, normal people might be able to use this with, let's say, a web browser, right? Yeah, yeah, web browsers are pretty easy to use. You can just, uh, I'll open up one right here. You can just sort of grab the screen and flick it and sort of move through the internet in a pretty, you know, pretty straightforward way. Uh, so do you envision that this would, let's say, replace a, a mouse or a, tr a touchpad altogether, or do you see it augmenting and, you know, being a, kind of an additive? Uh, for the moment, it's, uh, it, it's something, I mean, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're, we're, it's not like we hate the mouse, you know, people are free to keep them. Uh, we can certainly imagine people not using one, but, uh, you know, in the near future, particularly in form factors where having a mouse doesn't really make a lot of sense, you know, like uh, you can imagine a lot of mobile or like head, like Google Goggle type of things where yeah. like you don't really want a keyboard on the side of your face or a mouse on the side of your face, then, it, then, then it, you know, at that point you can't imagine having one of these old devices anymore, yeah. you know. All right, well, thanks for uh, giving us a look at that. And as I understand it, we're targeting maybe like a February release next year. Yeah, People yeah. will be able to start getting them in December hand. December to February window. And uh, this... 
currently you're using this device, but when they come out, we're targeting one this size, correct? Yeah, we act, we have a bunch of those at the office. It's not. Uh, we usually keep our in-person demos usually a few months behind the rest of the stuff. So. Uh, cool. Cool. All right. Well, we'll uh, look to uh, play with those whenever they come out. Thanks a lot for the uh, for the update on that. Okay, guys, stay tuned for more coverage from CE Week here, and uh, head on over to YouTube.com/forward/slash/GeekBTV. Give it a thumbs up. All right, we'll talk to you later.